This week, I shift machines about, I start a new big job, and I get a brand new HX 140 Hyundai on demo. I'm the Digger Girl, this is episode 38, let's go. It's Monday morning. This morning, I am going to take the six ton Kubota over to Dad at the drains we're at at the end of last week. The other, we had to actually had to go to another job, so this has to come over. Then I have to pick up the wheel dumper and take it to a job I'm going to be going on this week and then take the track dumper back out to Dad. So, very much a lorry driver today, so let's go and get things shifted about. So, I had to come up to the yard and pick up the 18 inch bucket for doing the drains over there. So, jump up and put it on. Jeez, it is fresh this morning. Look at the hills. So pretty. That's me all loaded up. Let's go. Your hands dirty. <laughs> What's with this too? The boss men. Right, what now? What now? Go and get that camera away. Go and get that, that. Anything else? That's it. Cool. See you in a couple no, hours. We'll do the work. Right, when are you getting that dumper? That's us on. Let's get chained down. What a day. Look like the last actually. This. We're so busy just now that was loaded up. We were giving me more work to do. But when I wouldn't actually have time to do it all. Dad's also flat out too. I mean, it's not a bad complaint, but I've got to learn to say no sometimes. <laughs> That dumper's got no handbrakes, so we just held in the two chains. Bit loose. It's fine, job done. Let's get this off very quickly. I'm hoping not to have a 45 by the time I get this tipped and go and load up the, the other dumper. So the dumpers come here to this job. We've got the Hyundai here as well. And I've actually got a demo coming tomorrow of a Hyundai. Oh, so the same size as that one, just a newer model. So. That'll be good. I've also got a crushing bucket coming with it too because all this concrete here is all getting lifted up. So it's a good job. I'm really looking forward to actually getting a go of the crushing bucket and being able to reuse materials again. Like all this concrete will get used for probably a road or something. All about recycling. Get these a wee spray of oil on them. Oh, hello! <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> I see ya. No, down you get. <laughs> you smell dipping off me. He's not here today. It's just lazy that is. Well, hello you too. 
It's an absolute pain having to start it with a screwdriver all the time. One of these jobs that keeps getting put off. Let's go. Let's put it somewhere semi out the way for this um, other digger coming in tonight. Oh, I'll put it in here actually. Grand. We've still got um, two bodies off the, off the 143, they're still there. There's a pile of other stuff up there for scrap as well, what came off the 143. And no, I don't have any updates on it yet. Don't you want to think about it. Right, the plan of attack now is to go into town. Dad's hired a track dumper for that site over there where I dropped the digger this morning. It's got to put in a soak weight and a soak weight just now what we were doing are horrific. They're massive big things, it's got to be like six metres by six metres. Pipes, terram, gravel, like it's just mental. So where it's going, you can't get down with a normal dumper, so we're going to pick up the track dumper to get gravel down to it. And then hopefully the demo will be not far away after that. That was a very quick tip. Let's go. Here I am to pick up the track dumper. Usually I drive in there and reverse back, but there's cars everywhere today, so it's a wee load on the road. It's been a while since I've driven one of these. Again, these are quite cool because this seat spins round so you can be facing that way or that way. Just going to throw a couple of straps over the front and back. A three ton one so it'll be more than enough. Dad's put these away nice and neatly as always for me. We actually had this, not this exact one, but one ex identical to it and higher for a few months. We can tie this front one. Let's go and get this back out that road. One happy customer. <laughs> Flat out. Right. Long time for me now. Just like that, building sites are always a nightmare. Just running in vans and all that carry on. Anyway, another good job done. This road. It's Tuesday morning and look what I got delivered last night. Brand new HX 148 AL. Now we did have the 20 tonner of this model, but I'm so happy to have the 14 tonner so I can compare it to our own 14 tonner which is just sitting down the bottom there. It's got like 20 hours on, on it or something, so it is like literally brand new. Can't wait to put it to test. My first job is going to be putting some of these planings on the road up there so we can clear the concrete um, down there. Because I've got another exciting thing coming today or maybe tomorrow for that too. So let's crack on. So I am really familiar with the new HX cab. I've had the 20 ton demo, I've been in the ducks, like I've been in this machine and still shows. I was in their 50 ton at Hillhead 2022. So I'm very familiar with them and I do love them. They're super comfy, like so modernized. But see the power in this machine compared to our one, it's unbelievable. Like I really think that our 14 machine is still really tight and really good until I jump in one of these new ones and I'm like, okay, it's really, really behind its times now. I will show a comparison of both cabs when I get that one up here, just now I'm loading the dumper. Um, I've managed to grab a little apprentice on it just now, so loading him up and he's dropping the planings off for me and I'll go up and spread that. I'll probably spread it with the other 140 because it's already got the tilty bucket on it just now. I don't think these have got the right hoses on it as they're coming to put the crusher bucket on this machine. So I'll just use my old machine for going down there and keep this one up here. We'll see. That was a good job done by we Scott there. Um, got all the planings on the road up there so I'm just going to go and switch up machines and take our old hand eye up to spread it just because the tilly bucket's on it already and it saves me messing about with the 
ends up there. So yeah, let's go. Back in the old machine. Right, so this obviously just came down off the Glen last week. If you watched, you would have seen um, it was sitting up there for ages and then there was a landslide and stuff. So we struggled to get it out. But now it's here. What the hell? <laughs> Started the other day after being stuck up the Glen all that time. Nightmare. No. Just welcome. Oh, hey, guy. Oh, well. Let me go and see if I can use the bucket. If not, I'll just rough it out with the bucket was on it. Nightmare. I just phoned Dad there. Like, I don't have anything on me. I've got no jump leads or anything. I've cleaned my pickup out and didn't put anything back in. Standard. So I'm just going to rough it with the bucket just now. Won't get the good shape on it. But basically, I just need to rough it so they can get up with the fork lift later on and put all this stuff up the top out the way so we can start roughing up this concrete. It's always something I tell you. That's all the road spread roughly up there, so hopefully the stuff can get moved off to concrete and hopefully the bucket will be getting fed to that tomorrow. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. We're on Wednesday morning. Dad came this morning and gave the Hyundai a jump start for me, so we're all up and running back in the old machine this morning with a utility bucket to go and level off that road properly. I think it's just because it sat for so long, it sat for six weeks and then we had it going taken out the Glen and then we had our first bit of frost yesterday morning so i think that was just enough for the old old girl but it's going now it's fine probably needing new batteries but i'll see how it goes today a couple of weeks ago i done a really cool podcast with taylor who does the con expo podcast it was really really good um, i'm going to put the link in the description below in case any of you guys want to jump into it we're talking everything from women in construction brand deals work with your family like everything is um i actually really enjoyed doing it with them we had so much in common and um, yeah, it was good. So I'll drop that below if any of you want to listen to it. And uh, let's go and get this road shaped off and then start clearing some stuff around here before the crushing bucket comes. Here's the two machines just next to each other. Let's just have a wee comparison. A very quick one because it's pretty wild out here. So you can see colour wise is the first instant change. The, I would much prefer this now. I think this is so much more modern looking with the darker um, arm on it compared to that it looks so old school now <laughs> um that's the first major change and then there's obviously different um steps and storage areas up there and the cabs are different as well but i'll show you that later on the back again nearly the same just more color upgrade on it all um and the, the bonnet and stuff like that yeah we'll do a, we'll do a full one in the special of showing you guys like the different things about them both. Recently, and start about the coffee and the breaker on a thing. 
all these buckets and that here are actually ours. This is not our yard, believe it or not, but it kind of looks like it with all the rubbish we've managed to gather here. And not all of it's ours. These are all our buckets and attachments here. That's our two bodies over there, what I'd mentioned yesterday. There's an old tracks of Kuchi over there. But yeah, I'm going to get these lined up because right now we don't know where the buckets are or what's going what. So look at them, we've been here that long, there's everything going all over them. All this area in here has got concrete. It's obviously something to do with their machines that are running up and down or something when it was an old sawmill. It's concrete marks when all that done as well. So I'm going to honestly looking at this, I'm like, how the hell am I going to get this done in this time? It's a big job. I'm going to go up here now and scrape all this vegetation off. Um, scrape it all back and then I'll put it in the dumper find someone else to dump it dump it at um, then I'll be in with the breaker after that I'm going to clear my feet first before I get the breaker on I'm back into the new Hyundai now. I've done everything I can with the tilty bucket on and I'm going to put the digging bucket on and toss some stuff about and try and rip up some more concrete. How lucky am I getting jumped between two Hyundais? And then um, this one is actually like night and day compared to my old one. Like I can't even explain to you. Everything about it, how smooth it is, the hydraulics, the cab, <laughs> how comfy it is. Feeling sorry for herself. Right, let's see if we can lift some more of this big bits of concrete up. Make it into smaller bits so we don't have to, get to break it out and use it so much. I think I'm chancing my luck to be fair. That is breaking up, that's exactly what I want. Probably need to be a wee bit smaller than that to get through the crush, I'm not too sure. We'll soon see. The less breaking I can do, the better. I honestly don't really like them bits on the side of that bucket there. And they're good for their purposes, but see, trying to get stuff in like this, bloody hopeless. What you should do to make it a little bit smaller is lift it up and smash it like that. Good old slab of concrete written up, I'm just glad there's no steel through that bit. Another amazing thing about this machine is the all round camera system. It's so clear. Look how clear that is. I can see all down that side there and I can all see right down there, there's the chassis and that right round there. And if someone comes into the green, the, that zone there, it'll start beeping red as well. It's one of their um, extremely good features. I use, I do use the camera quite a lot when I'm slowing around just to make sure nothing's behind me because I don't want to scratch a ballast weight. So yeah, love that feature. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to crack. Ready, smash. Right, that's me all done for the day. I've had actually such a good day. I uh, managed to get all this bit cleared, all the trees, vegetation cleared off it. There it is over there and there's a big pile of concrete that I've managed to lift up so far. So far, so good. I've not need to break it on. I may possibly need to into make it into, break it into smaller bits, but I'm going to try and just smash it up there by lifting up and dropping what you'd see me doing. An absolute bonus that there's no steel in. This is a bit... Mark thought the most steel would be in because this is a bit in the summer where the machines were running. Hopefully the whole yard has got no steel. That would just be amazing. It's not really looking likely to be honest because none down the bottom has it anyway, but it would just be my luck. So yeah, I'll be back here tomorrow. We'll get cracked on. See you guys tomorrow. Right, we're on Thursday now. Got Mollison's down there with the crushing, MB crushing bucket, what I'm getting, what's going to go get put on the new Hyundai. I'm just up to see if this old girl will start. Oh, look at the size of that spider. You nasty. Nasty, nasty. Fingers crossed it will start. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We've been taking over for a 
little bit of heat up. I'm back in the old girl. I'm going to throw some planings out of the way and then clear some concrete for uh, the tight one off the concrete out of the way. But the crusher jaw is quite small, so I've had to make the bigger bits into smaller bits, and um, which is really simple because it's just a couple pegs like that, um, so it's nothing too hard, thankfully, because I'm not a fan of a breaker. And thank God for hammer glass, I don't have to worry about getting any chips in my screen. done for the day all this concrete broke out no bother as well got all this stuff from big to wee ready for the to get crushing still plenty of concrete con concrete to get broken out but at least it's coming out um no bother at all that is me all done for the week crushing bucket dig palm so have to look back next week to see that but thanks for watching thanks for comments likes and subscriptions and i shall see you next week <laughs> We don't clutch left in that way. <laughs> Where did I put my gloves? Um. Oh, we just broke that mic. Honestly, me and Mike's man. <laughs>